Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be painting a corner cupboard, which you see right here behind me. Um, we actually just got back from a week at the beach and we found out while we were gone that we sold a big piece of furniture out of our booth in a vendor mall. So I have some backup pieces of furniture that are actually painted and ready to go, but I don't think any of them are going to work right in the space that this piece of furniture left behind. So we are going to paint this quick so that we can bring it out to the vendor mall. And I am going to be using um, Fusion's Milk Paint. Hold on, let me get it for you and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Uh, if you've watched our channel before, then you know we really like to use milk paint. And we use both Miss Mustard Seed Milk Paint and Fusion Milk Paint. And this time I'm going to be using Hotel Robe. It is just a really pretty white, um, don't mind my fingernails. I haven't redone them since we got back from the beach. Uh, but it's a really pretty white color and I'm going to hope and cross our fingers that this piece chips for me because I think it look really pretty chippy. Um, but we're going to mix up the milk paint and we're going to start painting this and get it ready to go out to the booth. So let's get going. All right. So the first thing you do when you're mixing milk paint is here. I'm just going to show you what the actual powder looks like. It just comes in this powder form and what you're going to do is mix about a one-to-one -one proportion or one-to-one -one ratio of um, paint powder to water. And I usually just save like old yogurt containers or sour cream containers, whatever, and mix it up in there so I can just chuck it when I'm done. But I don't actually measure. Uh, you can. That's fine. I just kind of dump. So I already have some warm water in here. And I'm just going to dump in some of this powder. And... I just have a plastic spoon and we're going to mix it up. I'm mixing a lot because this corner cupboard is probably going to take quite a bit. And then I start with a little and just keep adding. <clears throat> so it just gets to be a nice smooth consistency. And a trick that we've learned, and I don't know if I've said this before on this channel, but one of the tricks that we've learned from mixing milk paint is if you use warm paint, it actually helps to dissolve the, the powder better. So always use warm, or sorry, warm water. Use warm water, it helps to dissolve the paint powder better. And always give it like a minute or two to just kind of see how it's going to absorb before you start painting. You might need to add more water, more paint, um, <clears throat> whatever, but always a good idea just kind of give it a sec all right so this is pretty well mixed I'm going to just set it down and give it a second um, to kind of see how it absorbs and make sure everything's still good and I'm going to go grab my paintbrush and I'll be right back okay so I went and grabbed my paintbrush and this paint looks pretty good we're going to try it out and see how it feels and one other thing, if you don't want your paint to chip, you need to put in a product called Ultra Grip, and that'll just keep it from chipping. This, I do want it to chip. I'm hoping it chips, um, so we're not going to use that. But if you don't want it to chip, if you just want a smooth paint, um, then put in the Ultra Grip. All right, so here's what it looks like. Actually, it looks like it might be a little runny yet. Put in just a little bit more paint. And then we'll try it out. Might have made too much paint, actually. <laughs> made more than I thought I was going to, but that's okay because I have a couple other projects I could use it on if we have extra at the end. Okay, now this looks good. that'll work. All right, let's try it out.
All right, so this has been drying for a while, so we are going to put on coat number two. So it turns out this didn't really chip at all, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to sand it down with 150 grit sandpaper and give it a nice heavy distressing and see if any of it chips in the process. Alright guys, so we are back. Um, it is actually the next day. This piece has been painted and Ethan sanded it down. I really wanted it to, to um, naturally chip so that I could show you guys how the chipping process works. Unfortunately, it didn't, um, but when Ethan sanded it, it did get a nice chippy distressed look. Um, not quite as chippy as if it had chipped on its own, but the sander did pull some chips off and I think it turned out pretty good, so I'm happy with it but I am not able to show you um, just exactly what it looked like when it was chipping since it didn't do what I wanted it to do originally. But we will, I wanna find a piece that I know is gonna chip and show you just how the chipping process works because it's pretty neat. Um, if you get a piece that chips naturally, it just starts flaking off on its own and I kinda wanna show you that process and how to finish up the chippy piece and how to seal it but this one um, isn't quite as chippy as I was hoping for, but that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do to seal this is I am going to take this product, it's called Tough Coat, um, and it's just basically a sealer, and we are going to use uh, just a lint-free rag. You can also use blue shop towels, I happen to be out, and one little tip for that is whatever you're using to put the sealer on, make sure it's damp. I always keep just a small container of water on hand and I dip it in there and wring it out so that it stays damp and that just helps it go on more evenly. So, all right, we're gonna get this sealed up and this piece is gonna be done. Let's go. So that's it. This piece is completely done. It just needs to dry now and we will be bringing it out to the shop and putting it in our booth. Um, so that's pretty much how easy it was. It took us one afternoon, yesterday afternoon, and then this morning about 10 minutes for me to just um, put the tough coat sealer on it. So milk paint really is that easy. If you're scared of using milk paint, 
don't be. I can't recommend it enough. Um, if you'd like to see more videos like this of us just painting a piece of furniture and showing the before and after of a painted piece of furniture, please let us know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I hope it inspired you to go out and paint something of your own. All right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.